Laurel, the biggest impact will be traffic. From TriMet to Portland Police, several agencies are warning that things could get dicey with closures and delays on a lot of major freeways and access roads. And while the president won't arrive until tomorrow evening, preparation is already well underway. In downtown Portland, the word is out. We had a president of the United States coming. We caught Jean Gelly between hotel deliveries. If he doesn't seem too enthused about all this, he's not. I'm guessing I'm going to skip Dunaway today because you could see. Biden's advance team wouldn't confirm if this is where the president will be staying Friday night, but it's unlikely the fencing around Southwest 6th and Taylor is here for decoration. It's very exciting because you can tell that something is going on and everybody's looking around asking, what's happening, what's happening? The president is coming. Can I say that? The president is coming. If you couldn't tell, Daphne Epps is a fan. She happens to be in town from Flint, Michigan. Are you kidding me? What are the chances of that, right? As for who she can thank for her happy coincidence, political analysts point to Oregon's tight race for governor and Democratic candidate Tina Kotek. I'm not sure she's in trouble, but she's in for the race of her life right now. I mean, the polls show it's a dead even race between her and Christine Drazen. Pacific University political science professor Jim Moore thinks back to 2010. That's when former Governor John Kitzhaber was stumping for his third term. It was a tight race. And come October, President Barack Obama touched down in Portland. And I think that's what Biden's visit is doing here and what Kotek wants it to do here. You know, what, what he, his presence does, it says it's not just about Oregon issues. It's a nationally important election. Here is the timing of all this. President Biden is expected to land in Portland around 6.30 Friday night, then attend a volunteer event with Oregon Democrats just after 7. Portland police say you should expect delays on major city roads Friday afternoon and evening. Max and bus service will be disrupted, too. Then on Saturday, the president will appear at a campaign event for Tina Kotek. This is President Biden's second visit to Portland in just six months. He was here in April to promote new funding for infrastructure investments, including seismic upgrades to the Port of Portland. He was only here for a few hours. This time, odds are better for Daphne Apps. I'm hoping I'm going to be here to see him. For security reasons, at this point, neither the White House nor police are releasing the exact locations for the president's visit or the exact road closures. However, police say some streets and transit lines in downtown Portland could be closed from early tomorrow morning until he leaves on Saturday. So we'll update you as soon as we get more details, David. Definitely more than a four or five hour visit like we saw in April. Thank you, Catherine. By the way, we're going to have live coverage of the president's arrival on Air Force One tomorrow evening right here streaming on the KGW app and at KGW.com. Now, speaking